Now, for those of you guys that don't know, the movie's called Nobody. It, it, a quick synopsis is a middle-aged suburban drone who's played by um, Bob Odenkirk. His life is bland. It's the same thing every single day. At the very beginning, we sort of can relate to this humdrum, you know, cycle of life. Everything's the same every day. Um, but he finds his inner badass after a home invasion. And throughout the film, we learned that previous to this, he had a whole different life where he really was this badass. And uh, that home invasion kind of unlocked uh, something inside of him that he kind of hid away. And as an audience member, we're learning about him as we go. But it begins with him very much like how we've seen him before. A little clumsy, a little silly, very empathetic, somebody that you just almost feel sorry for. But then that quickly changes. How does the cinematography follow that path along where we have one opinion of him at the beginning and then it changes over time? Do you make any do you make any changes in the cinematography to reflect that? Uh, yes, we did. We we uh, we had a lot of talks with the director about uh, and the production designer about that about like adding more colors as we progress, uh, as, uh, colors and movement. You know, there is a bit more static uh, in the beginning, uh, yeah. and then you know it becomes a bit more uh, the camera and the lighting and the colors become more lively. Uh, in the second act and in the third act, it's just like we were like, let's go operatic and like full colors, full, you know, full. Let's go fun with it. Was there a palette you were playing with for the colors? There was a, a palette that was a, a lot cooler at the beginning, and then we wanted to add more warmth and more, uh, more color contrast as the movie progresses. So what do you think that says yeah. about yeah what does that say about that character in your opinion i think you know just like uh calming the cinematography you know with the color contrast less color contrast and less camera movement would just i think also naturally just calm the audience when you're mm -hmm. watching it you're just more uh your senses, your senses aren't as excited because everything is just a bit more calm. So you, you're able to, you know, really feel what the character is going through. And then as his journey progresses, we excite the senses more, the visual senses. Yeah, that, and that's a good point. It wasn't even something I pick, I was picking up on while I was watching it. But you're right. You do. You are as a viewer, kind of lulled into this calm. And this sort of relatable lifestyle that he has for some, maybe not all people, but that idea of, you know, kind of going through your day, not necessarily having tons of stimuli, just kind of going through the motions. I think the color palette did help for that. It, it, did, it, it did. It kept you calm. It kept you attentive in a way, but also calm. I, that's interesting. Yeah, it was uh, it was a lot of like we also tested that. You know uh, the looks and the the, the uh, in prep uh, to see how we liked it, and yeah, I think it worked out pretty well. Mm -hmm.